As I have told you, there are 300,000 people living in Gondor. And most of the people have no their own house, but they are renting a small houses and a compound. And today, we are so lucky we have found someone who helped us. And we are going to visit somebody's house in the compound. Check me out. <laughs> so now I'm in a compound. There are about 10 rooms in the compound which has been rented for some people. And one of my best friends in the compound is going to tell us how he lives. Then, this is Faleka with his son and his wife. The Agus. The Agus, that is. And Masresa. Her nickname is Masresa, and she is the Agus. So they are living in the, this small room. And I am going inside of the salon and in the kitchen and just in the bedroom. Just the, all the services are in the same one single room, which is really small. And I so now I am in the salon and just the bed. I'm in the kitchen and there are different services used in, in this small room. They rented it from the owner of this compound and they have paid about, they pay 100 Ethiopian per for the time being. The re renting house is really expensive now. It was about 50 per some years ago, but this time there are college students coming from the farming areas. So they're just spending their three years time in the college, so they should rent a house. This shelf that you can see, it is full of different materials, glass for water, and just for cooking materials here. And a palette as well, and a coffee. Materials are the third. Now, when? Uh, as you can see, most of the pens are not using a cement, a concrete or a floor tile for the ground in the floor. It's really mud on the ground. So, most of the pens are covering the floor with uh, holiday grass mostly. So, when it is just uh, enough, they clean it. And I was saying, just they use different holiday grasses from the lawn. Uh, this time, it's a fasting time now, and they are cooking some kind of vegetables only. And as you can see, these are the materials to cook foods on the. So, now I am inside of Aleka's house with his wife, Tigis. And we are going to have a lunch. Then this is the food called injera, made of teeth. Then, Ethiopians are having a food together and they don't eat alone most of the time. What in general? So I am invited to have a lunch with them now and we are having a vegetable. <laughs> this is how Ethiopians are started. Especially the owner of 
the house must feed the first to his wife. And it's, this feeding style is just started a long time ago. And it gives a nice sage to people. The people... <laughs> so now, Faleka is the father. So he wants to feed everyone who is invited from outside. Just he started from his wife. But then after, he invites the people to feed themselves. Very, very sweet and delicious food. When in Ethiopia, most of the household works are uh, done by the ladies. And in Ethiopia especially, people don't use uh, machines to wash clothes. They use only this metal to wash clothes. And at the same time, they don't have any drying machine for clothes. And they only just put it on this line and the sun got sick.